In South America, hooded armed men have stormed a TV channel studio, taking it off the air. It happened in Ecuador and is just the latest in a series of attacks that have followed the declaration of a state of emergency. Journalist Mary Trinmena is tracking the story for us. She joins us live from the Venezuelan capital, Caracas. So, Mary, frightening scenes unfolding before viewers' eyes on live TV. Can you take us through what happened? Yeah, it's been a couple of uh, nerve-wracking hours for Ecuadorians who watch on live television how about a dozen of heavily armed men enter the TV station and show their arms to the TV cameras. Uh, they took control of the TV station for about one hour. Now the police is confirming, the Ecuador police, that 10 people have been detained and about 20 workers of the TV station uh, were evacuated. No, none of the workers of the TV stations uh, were injured. They were kidnapped for about one hour and a half. And then the police was able, the special forces were able to enter the TV station and took control. Uh, this is happening, as you said, after uh, a special emergency decree two days ago by President Daniel Novoa, who is uh, making efforts to take control of growing violence in the South American country. And this happened, as you mentioned, after that declaration of a state of emergency in Ecuador. Can you tell us about that and why it was brought in? Yeah, well, President Novoa took office in November. Since then, he has been campaigning uh, towards uh, reduce the growing violence in Ecuador. And the first step that he took was take control all over the prisons. But these prisons are controlled by uh, several gangs. Now he's issuing a second decree today, just an hour ago, uh, uh, calling on uh, a second state of emergency, calling that there is an internal conflict, armed conflict in Ecuador, and calling the military forces to intervene. At first, only police uh, took control and there was a, a state of emergency, but now the military is intervening and he is calling these groups terrorists and the, uh, he identified about 20 uh, gangs groups. Now, uh, what uh, will happen in the coming hours in Ecuador is history in the making, but uh, we guess that uh, the, the military will take control in night hours when the guns are working stronger and even using explosives in the streets. Mary, thank you. That's Mary Trini Mena in Caracas, Venezuela.